Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and today I'm going to be taking you around our stunning Peugeot 308 Touring. As you can see, presented in brilliant red with the iconic Peugeot styling. Big chrome headlights, big open grille, big Peugeot grille just to let you know you've bought a Peugeot. At the bottom there we fitted the slimline plates just to make it look that little bit better. Around the front of the vehicle, no signs of stone chips, damage, scratches or anything like that. Quite impressive condition. Coming up to the front of the wheels now, we've just put a set of front tyres on this car as well. So unmarked, oh, we've got a couple of bits of marking here just on the alloy wheel, very light. It's only affected the paint, not the wheel. And brilliant condition tyre tread there as well. Coming down the side of the vehicle, you'll see really impressive. We do have a slight little nick there. It actually looks like a little bit of paint. I might get our details to have a little bit of a look at that one just to make sure it isn't just something they can buff out. Coming down the side of the vehicle, do have privacy glass at the back. Doesn't look like it's tinted at the front, but I'm gonna get my camera and look at the roof and check that out. That is one of the biggest sunroofs you'll ever see. Full panoramic glass roof. We will go through that when we're inside the vehicle as well. Coming down the back of the car, no scratches, nicks or anything like that. This car looks like it's been pampered throughout its life. Rear wheel, brilliant condition, no marks at all. And a brilliant continental tyre at the back as well. Good tyre tread depth there. Coming around to the back, this is why it's called a Touring. It's a wagon. As you can see, big Peugeot grille 308, just to let you know again. Reversing sensors, nice and easy down there. We'll just open it up. Don't... Well, wait a moment while the beeping thing reverses out of the um, out of the wash bay there. There's a bit of a blooper for you. Anyway, back inside the tailgate here, you'll notice actually it still has its delivery plastic on the chrome trim there. I'll get our details to remove that because it looks so much better when it's stainless steel. In the back here, brilliant condition carpet. The plastics are in good condition as well. Everything's nice and clean. Does come with a factory um, rear cargo blind as well. Just to make sure anything you put in here is away from prying eyes. Close the tailgate, nice and light, easy to shut, shuts itself. Coming around the passenger side of the vehicle now, no signs of scratches, dents or nicks or anything like that. Brewing condition rear wheel again, great condition continental tyre, heaps of tread back there as well. No signs of marks, scratches or nicks or anything down the whole side of the vehicle. Very impressive. The last of the alloy wheels, we have a tiny little bit of marking, or actually it's not. That's from changing the tyre when we put brand new tyres on, a little bit of glue there. So there's nothing actually wrong with that wheel. So around the exterior of this car presents brilliantly. Around to the front of the Peugeot 308 Touring now. As you can see, I've cheated a little bit by opening the bonnet. The bonnet opens such a long way. Beautiful sand deadening, making this car very nice and quiet to live with. Sand deadening across the bottom. Some of it has just peeled down a little bit. Maybe a little bit of glue would hold it up, but all the clips are still there. Looking at an engine there, obviously it is a four cylinder 1.6 litre turbo. It's going to give you 88 kilowatts of power, 160 newton meters of torque. Through a four speed automatic transmission, you're going to get 7.7 .7 litres to the 100, which is going to give you 770 kilometres of average driving range. Right inside the Peugeot 308 Touring now, quite a comfortable place to be. Love the styling of the cars, they really have gone over and beyond for the styling. One thing you notice very quickly in this car, something I usually don't mention in these videos, is the visibility is epic. You've got big glass windows here behind the mirrors, got nice thin pillars because of the strong steel with one of the airbags in it huge big windscreen which is miles away you can't even touch it masses of amount of light in this vehicle accentuated by the big glass roof as well making it feel a lot bigger than it is we'll start the video the normal way leather wrapped steering wheel brilliant condition no sign of wear at all black with black stitching big Peugeot badge in the middle one of the many airbags in this car um, on the right hand side of the steering wheel we do have two keys for this vehicle one flip key and one hard key we do have the wiper controls on this side, as it says here, automatic of course. Down here we've got our media controls, you've got source and forward and back and that sort of thing on that side. On this side we've got headlights, automatic headlights of course, and they're nice and sensitive so they do turn on when it rains, unlike most automatic headlights. Indicators are on the left side of the vehicle, you do get to the use of that very quickly. Cruise control down here, quite simple, you can set up, down and that sort of thing for cruise control, everyone knows how that works. In the centre console area here, in the centre cluster, sorry, it's white illumination, really, really nice. Um, got 110 dead in the centre there. Big multifunction screen here showing the average fuel economy and average speed, everything like that as well. Car currently showing 96,400 kilometres on it as well. 
It's a bit hard to see, but down here we have a button for the headlight height adjustment. So if you have a lot of weight in the back, you can actually lower the headlight stand so you don't blind people. On the right hand side here on my door, I've got a button here that says no play with the windows. So my cameraman's not allowed to play anymore. Uh, that's the doors, sorry, power windows here. And then your mirror controls, of course, for the power mirrors. Going across and into the center now, you know what? I'm gonna change it up, Lynn. Let's go back and up there. You're gonna to have to lean back for this sunroof, my friend. This is a massive sunroof. It goes from all the way near the steering wheel to well past the back seat. A huge good view of the um, detail shed roof there, but a massive roof. Imagine this driving through the rain, seeing the rain drop on the roof, or driving through the city, or up through Dandenong Ranges. It'd be so amazing looking through that roof. Really change the experience. Anyway, Back to now, back to here, not in the Dandenong, sadly. We've got the three chrome air con vents there. Nice little screen up there saying the wrong date. We'll get that changed. And that's 13 degrees outside, and it's almost school pickup time. Down here, we've got a button to test all the indicators at the same time, as well as lock the doors. Electronic stability control off. Not sure why you'd ever turn it off, to be honest. Uh, parking sensors off as well. Down here, we've got our audio system. Nice and simple to use. MP3 compatible, of course. A little nook here for your phone or something like that. We'll move the shifter out of the way. Here we've got our climate control, dual zone of course, can set it to mono zone as well, where you want it, how much fan, really easy to use. Our shifter here, as you've seen me just use there, has your little modes, you've got reverse, neutral, and then down to drive. And if you're feeling a bit sporting, you've got your manual mode there as well, or you've got sports mode there, or you've got um, the winter mode there, which just makes the traction control work all the more better for those trips up to the snow. Coming back, got a 12 volt socket there. We've got the control for the roof. I'm leaving it open just so the camera can see in here today. Ooh. We've got a, a adjustable handbrake down there and we've got the little armrest there which comes forward nicely. Obviously lift that up. We've got uh, a nice little spot there to put many things including your wheel lock nut. Pop that down and have a cruise around the interior. One thing you'll notice, nice side bolsters on the interior. A bit of double double cloth here we've got the cloth here with a different tone of cloth there it's really really comfortable seats actually they're very well designed carpets we don't have floor mats in this vehicle but the carpets present brilliantly rear the same carpets brilliant rear seats brilliant does have three iso fixed mounts across the back of the, the rear seat as well roof lining unmarked as well something i always concentrate on and for the out of state buyers and something i focus on when i buy a car no odd smells smells really perfect in here no sign of cigarette smoke or anything like that into the service books of this car it will get jump into now Looks like it was sold by um, Boren Euro in Dandenong. Hey, funny that. Um, and they've gone a bit wild with the stamping here. Now, every second service is actually intermediate, so we only really need to see one every second. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve services, and we're only up to 90, 96,000 kilometers on the car. So someone has really looked after this this car, and you'll see Boren uh, Persia the whole way through until we serviced it when we brought it into stock here to make sure a full roadworthy pass on the vehicle. So full service history on this car as Thank well. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our Peugeot 308 Touring, presented in beautiful black. As you've seen, brilliant condition on the outside, amazing condition inside full Peugeot service history. This is definitely the 308 Touring for you. Do give us a call 9907 555 and thank you for watching.